I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. Well, Hurricane Lee is now a dangerous Category 5 hurricane. With the 11 p.m. advisory here on Thursday night, the National Hurricane Center did upgrade that hurricane to a Category 5. Here's the latest that we're watching right now on this system. Just look at that thing spinning in the central Atlantic right now. A very well-defined eye. That structure is just very well organized, and it is a very very strong system that's moving toward the north and also to the west. You can see where the storm is in relation to the islands there to the Bahamas as well as uh, the Atlantic coastline of the United States. It still has a long way to go before it's near any landmass. So look at these winds. Again, at the 11 p.m. advisory, 160 mile an hour winds gusting to 195 miles an hour, moving west northwest at 14 miles an hour. So here's the track maintaining category five strength, we think maybe through Saturday and then down to a category four through Tuesday during the evening hours. Now the cone does not hit any land masses here on this track. It stays to the north and east of the northern Leeward Islands, north of Puerto Rico, also Haiti and the Dominican Republic and then east of the Bahamas. So here's what we're going to be watching. This final uh, plot here goes to Tuesday at 8 o'clock. That's from the official track from the National Hurricane Center. But here's a look at the spaghetti models that go out a little bit further and you see that track to the north and west and then that curve happens thanks to a trough that is up to the north and then high pressure to the east is going to kind of steer that into that direction. But that curve, when it happens, is very critical to determine how close that center of the storm would come to the United States or over closer to the Bermuda area. So that's what we're going to be watching. And what's very important for us is when the hurricane hunters are able to fly through this system and get some very valuable data, they have been doing that, punching the eye wall throughout the evening hours on Thursday night, gathering some very important data. And that's what determined that this is now a Category 5 hurricane. Now notice the winds. Uh, as it goes near Puerto Rico, they may be feeling some winds Monday into Tuesday and definitely some rough surf. Some of that going into Haiti, the Dominican Republic, as well as some wind and rough surf into the Bahamas. And again, that curve, depending on how close it gets to the United States, would determine if winds and how much rough surf would come into the Atlantic coastline as well. There is another uh, a tropical system out there, Tropical Storm Margo. It was upgraded at 5 o'clock today. The 11 p.m. advisory shows it with winds of 40 miles an hour. Most likely it'll become a hurricane, we think, at the beginning of next week or late into the weekend, but it stays well out into the Atlantic and doesn't impact us here at all. So here's a look at the names. We are getting to the peak of hurricane season. The statistical peak is on September 10th. And look at all these names we've been through already. There's the updates there on Lee as a Category 5, Margot as a Tropical Storm. The next name on the list is Nigel. We'll wait and see if that forms anytime soon as well. So a lot to watch in the tropics as we are right now at the peak of hurricane season. Stay with us. We'll keep you posted on these tropical systems that are out there right now. As we get more data in, we'll have updates here as well as updates on 11 Alive News on TV, 11alive.com and all of our digital channels.